Hello. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about the different types of computers that are in use today. If I were to give this lecture 30 years ago, this list would have been much shorter. So let's go ahead and get started. Today, there are a large number of computers in use today, but they generally fall into a few categories. Since the cost of computer hardware has come down significantly and the size of the components is much smaller, it's much easier to inc include computers and devices that were unable to take advantage of this capability just a few years ago. As this trend continues, more devices are being frequently introduced into the market. So with all these different types of devices, let's look and see what the major device types are. I've grouped them into the following. Desktop computers, laptop computers, tablets, smartphones, servers, mainframe computers, embedded systems, and wearable devices. So now let's go look at each one of these in detail. The first computer type on the list is the desktop computer. These computers were introduced in the 1980s and have been the mainstay of the market since that time. Businesses still use these devices heavily for routine computing and office automation. Home users still use these devices as well, but the market began to shift to laptop computers in the mid-2000s. The sales of desktop computers have steadily fallen year after year since that time. Major manufacturers of these devices include Dell, HP, and Apple. The next type of computer on the list is the laptop computer. These computers were designed to be small, portable, compu personal computer devices. These devices continue to improve in speed and processing power as the technology continues to improve. In addition, these devices continue to become lighter with improved battery life. Major manufacturers of these devices include Acer, Dell, Apple, and Toshiba. The next type of device that's on the list is the tablet computer. Tablet computers are thin, flat mobile computers with a touchscreen display. The first widely accepted model of a tablet computer was created by Apple Computer in 2010 with the introduction of the iPad. Many other manufacturers have since followed suit with their own devices. These include Samsung, Amazon with the Fire tablet, and others all bundled under the Android operating system. There are a lot more devices under development with different sizes and footprints all under development. Tablets have become extremely popular in the market today. Several years after the introduction of laptop computer, smartphones began to dominate the market. These devices are cell phones that provide an advanced mobile operating system. Smartphones provide the following basic capabilities. A phone, a camera, which usually includes HD video as well, a GPS, a touchscreen, and many other uh, functions as well. The growth in the adoption of the, these devices has been nothing short of amazing. In fact, there are over 2 billion devices in use today. Most of the cell phones in use today are based on the iOS operating system from Apple or the Android operating system from Google. Major manufacturers include Apple, Samsung, LG, and Google. The next type of computer on the list is the server. Servers became popular during the rise of the internet and the World Wide Web. These computers provide functionality for programs or devices called clients. Servers provide functionality for applications such as database, file servers, email servers, web servers, and application servers. Servers are designed to be uh, clustered so that new servers can be added to increase capacity easily. Manufacturers include Dell, HP, IBM, and Oracle. Mainframe computers have been developed since the late 1950s and were some of the earliest computers in use in industry. These computers were designed to run large mission-critical applications such as banking and ERP systems. These machines are designed to be fast and highly reliable. They also are designed to handle applications that require high input and output. Major vendors of mainframes include IBM, Unisys, and Hitachi. The, the last item we're going to talk about it are embedded systems. And since computer hardware is much cheaper, computers are being integrated into a wide variety of devices. These include aircraft, weapon systems, automobiles, gaming systems, GPS systems, robotic systems, manufacturing systems, and vision systems, just to name a few. More devices are being included through the use of a technology called Internet of Things, or IoT. You'll be hearing a lot more about this technology as it matures. The last type of computer system I'll talk about is the wearable device. 
these systems are designed to be worn uh, with, on, or on top of clothing. There are already many devices on the market. These include Fitbits, Apple Watch, Google Glass, and body cams. As this market evolves, there are more and more devices under development. In summary, there's been an explosion of new devices that have been introduced over the last decade. The good news for programmers and IT workers is all of these devices require software to run them and provide opportunities for developers. The list of new devices is growing every day. As hardware prices continue to drop, these devices to be, continue to become better, cheaper, and faster. I hope this lesson's given you a good overview of the types of computers in use today. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.